Great architecture has the ability to enhance people's lives, enhance the way that you live and enjoy the mundaneness of everyday life, everyday situations. My name's Hugh Wellard, I'm Principal Designer at Wellard Architects and this is Summers Beach House. Summers was established in around 1920 and is one of the closest beaches to metropolitan Melbourne. It's got a strong, tight-knit community here with a big sailing background and wonderful stretches of coastline overlooking Western Port Bay across to Phillip Island. Uh, the brief for this project was to design an intergenerational beach house that was not only comfortable for two, but also flexible enough to house lots of, uh, you know, lots of family members during holiday periods. Our clients were interested in exploring this idea of a stacked living. This is that the two primary users of the house can live independently. The idea is being that one half of the house could be completely shut down when not in use. So two floor plans, one on top of the other, that are linked via an external staircase. On arrival to this house, the upper level of the building contains the primary living, kitchen and dining zones. and also in the main bedroom and bathroom. We introduced a lap pool that flanks the western uh, side of the building. The pool is centred on an established banksia tree in the backyard, and as you're swimming out towards that banksia tree, the views open up. At the lower level contains an additional living space and kitchenette. An additional three bedrooms, and this has become a really great congregational area for younger members of the family to get together and watch a movie and have their own sort of private realm, independent from the adults that might be entertaining upstairs. These two independent levels are linked via an external staircase. In many ways, the external staircase is a pretty traditional beach house solution, enabling you easy access to the garden, access the beach, but also access the house without traveling through multitudes of you know, internal spaces and getting sand everywhere and all those sort of things. The stair leads to a garden path that gently winds down to the sheltered rear gardens designed by Fiona Brockoff. Fiona has used a beautiful mix of native plants, but also beautiful cypress retaining walls that have silvered off and marrying very nicely with the materiality of the main building. An existing boat shed built in the 1950s occupied the southeastern corner of the site. This has been remodelled and rebuilt to the exact same footprint and dimensions as the original structure. It is actually, in a way, a, a miniature version of the main house. We felt a restrained palette of materials was a sensible approach for this project, given the amazing views on offer and the ability to sort of bring them into the interior of the home. We've used black butt timber, concrete, stone, and a couple of different cabinetry finishes, both in soft silvery greys and also soft greens. The lap pool has been clad in the same floor tiles used internally in a large format. The timber batten screens enable the lower level of the house to be shut down when not in occupation. The external elements of the building and how they've weathered have always been very important to us. Elements like the rendered blockwork retaining walls with salt building up over time and developing their own patina and character, which in turn works very beautifully with the silvered off timber and the painted steel framework. The battens also enable a level of shadow play that changes as the sun tracks across the sky in the afternoon. The building is located on the steepest part of the site and cantilevers at the southern end. The steel structure is tied back to the garage at the northern end of the site, which is anchored firmly into the ground and provide a comfortable access point to the rear landscape garden. Talking about the siting of the building and where it sits you know, in relation to the slope of the land, the ability to look out over the top of the building and out to the bay, which is quite nice and I think perhaps appropriate for beach house dwellings. 
you've got the constraints, but you've got to find those opportunities. And in this case, we had a, a great brief with two stacked living forms. In a way, that's defined our approach here. You know, this this linking kind of external staircase and this steel support framework that not only you know, contains all the batten screen to shelter this property from the neighbours and also from the weather, but it's also sort of become this that, that kind of holistic sort of design approach that uh, we've been able to follow through as a, a fairly singular idea.